Hello everyone, sorry for some sounds. There's a construction work goes on around, but anyway, I would like to show you another steel. It's a small continuous uh, wrong fuel separator. It separates uh, petrol from the diesel, from the accidentally mixed fuel that's been mixed at petrol station, for example. Now here we've got production of diesel, it's separation of diesel fraction and sorry for the camera handling I don't know if you if you can see here's a petrol quite difficult to show hold on here's a petrol Now we're gonna collect some petrol and we're gonna test it. So I've got some Soviet technology system designed for the octane rating testing. It's not officially recognized one, but anyway, people say the system works perfectly fine. Now, here's the unit, it's a 1.6 kilowatt, small one really small one I usually I'm building six kilowatt units that's capable of uh, 60 liters of mix per hour this one is much slower but anyway it can produce significant amount because it's a continuous can work 24 7 now you can see this this complete separation Here's the petrol is coming out absolutely transparent, it's clear. Now, here's the control box. It's a thermal control box, it's actually set at 180 degrees, currently 175. It's fine. Now, here's the diesel fraction coming out. It's a diesel fraction again. This valve is a supply control valve, so you technically you're controlling everything, including temperature, with this particular valve. Here's a petrol separation. Now, here's a drum with mix. It's going to be your own drum. Fuel pump, 12 volt supply. Petrol again, petrol again, and here we go with a system. I don't know, it needs to be submerged a little bit deeper to the glass, but anyway, we'll try to see what it's gonna show us. And it's showing zeros because it's, there's not enough fuel inside. It's now it's showing 71, 74. So we'll wait until the glass is completely filled up. 76. So we need to fill it up up to this particular uh, scale. It's on a on this uh, hydrometer or whatever, it's electronic hydrometer. And we have to take not the first, but some next reading. I don't know the nature of this particular mix, but we're running out of our glass, 88. Okay, we'll try it one more time. I need to replace the glass with the bigger drum. So here we've got just a little bit of petrol because this particular mix contains a lot of diesel and almost no petrol. Here's the quality of the petrol. All the coloring actually left in diesel. I will fill it up with diesel in one second and I'll show you what sort of diesel coming out. 
is the diesel flow. Once again, this particular fuel was uh, mixed at petrol station, at gas station. Now it's separated and can be used for your diesel and petrol cars separately without any treatment. Just fill it up. Better to filter, of course, but fill it up and use it. Now here's the diesel. Once again, the fuel that you're gonna get out of this machine is gonna be as good as good it used to be at the petrol station or gas station where it's been mixed. So if they were selling some inferior fuel, you will have some low quality fuel. If the gas station selling really good fuel, high quality one, then of course you're gonna get the high quality fuel as well. Anyway, there's a machine to separate the accidentally mixed fuel. It works like, for example, if you go to the petrol station, you need 10 liters of diesel, 10 liters of petrol, and got only one container. You buy in everything and through the one container, mix it together, bring it home and separate it with this machine. Something like that. But of course, you're not gonna do it. None of us gonna do it, but sometimes people making mistakes and they filling up their cars or trucks with the wrong fuel. And in this case, this particular machine is absolutely handy one. It will help you, help anyone to separate and reuse fuel again rather than dump it somewhere, I don't know. This additional. Absolutely transparent, it's yellow, it's good. Just fill up your fuel tank and here we go. And it's ready to go. Very good conversion. Good speed for the small machine. Good flow. And again, this tube is a breather tube. So I just direct in, into the container, just in case some water gets into the reactor. If water gets into the reactor, there could be some tiny explosion, not big, nothing serious, but it can force some diesel from the diesel separation column uh, through the top. So here's a bypass, it prevents from any uh, pressure build up inside so it will speed some diesel speed some diesel out so once it's directed into the drum don't block it once it's directed into the drum it's gonna uh, reduce some extra fuel extra diesel into the drum without spilling it on a floor and I believe this is it so the temperature the control is set at 118, currently it's 167. I replaced the drum. From drum to drum, this could be different fuel, slightly different composition. And uh, anything from 160 up to two, uh, 180 would be good, would be nice, not a problem. So, as long as it's about at 180, and if we will get any sort of thermal runaway, it will. Uh, fluctuate at this particular temperature. It's just helping us to run the distillation. Again, here's a petrol. And here's the diesel flow. The unit works perfectly, absolutely stable, good flow good quality of you. Thank you very much.